Hello everyone, welcome to another beautiful sunny day in the high desert California. Today I'm going to be installing a nice ceiling fan light. Um, there's already one installed, they're just getting kind of old and dated, so we've got everything we need. I've got everything kind of set up over on the table uh, and boxed everything to kind of make the video go a little bit faster. Now. You might also ask yourself, why has he got white shorts on? Isn't he doing construction work? Well, <laughs> to be honest, you know, you can do construction work and look good, but you got to pick the right job to do it. So don't try and wear white if you're doing concrete or, uh, you know, other kind of random jobs. So we'll get right into it. I'm going to take you over to the table. And once we get to the table, I'll kind of show you everything I have set up, take you through the parts, the pieces, how to put things together. I'm going to take you inside. Um, I'm going to show you how to take the old uh, fan out and disassemble everything, put everything in. Um, it's probably a medium skill job. So I wouldn't say anybody can do it, but if you're mildly handy and you think you've got the skills to try it, all you really need is a screwdriver. So it's fairly simple yet mildly complicated. So I'll take you through everything and, uh, and we'll get started here. All right, so as you can see, I have everything kind of laid out here on the table. Um, these are all the parts and pieces and things that you're going to need to kind of do and have uh, to make this project successful. Now, this piece here, this is your main unit that kind of does everything as far as the spinning. We're going to attach lights on here. Um, here's your mounting plate. We're going to have to attach this right to the ceiling itself. Um, this is the shroud. This kind of goes over everything to make it look pretty. Here's the light attachment. This will go on here and we're going to do a lot of this before we go inside. Now these we're going to go ahead and attach to here before we go in because it'll just save us time. It's a lot easier to kind of do it on a table uh, rather than try to take it inside or wherever you're trying to work. and just have all of this random stuff just kind of all over the place now everything's got two sides most fan blades do uh, this one has a dark side kind of a light grayish side uh, this is the side that they want installed down so uh, without further ado I will uh, take you through everything now before I get too far into everything um, obviously everything you're gonna buy is going to come with one of these. It's going to give you a good instruction manual on how to install everything, the steps to do it in. Um, you know, for most people, you should you should use these. Take your time. You know, if you got a little bit of testosterone, just you know, be done with it. <laughs> we're we're men. We'll figure this stuff out. You know, but you know, that's just that's how we do it. We're men. I mean. We'll figure it out. And if we screw up, you know, we'll fix it, you know, but sometimes it's always good to have a backup. <laughs> so here we go. Let's uh, down here and I'm going to zoom you right in. We're going to get right down here on the table. So these are the pieces that need to go together. Now, this is the side that we want down. So basically, these three are going to line up kind of in here like that. Now they've got a bag. comes with everything you'll need. And if you read the directions, these washers are going to come with. Those go on there. And you've got two different sets of screws. This is to attach the fan blade to the bracket. And this is to attach the bracket to the actual motor. So we don't need those for now. Rip these open. Pop these all off. Save yourself a lot of time if you just kind of get these all ready ahead of time. Um, I'm only going to do one blade just to kind of show you how it goes. And uh, after that I can do the rest off camera and take you to the next step. So it's super simple. You put the washers on and screw them in. 
And like I said, this will save you a lot of time. Just kind of getting everything prepped beforehand. All right. Butterfingers. There we go. Uh, if you got power tools, feel free to use power tools. Just turn the power down so you don't uh, strip the stuff out. When we get inside, uh, I will have power tools. <laughs> All right. So that's pretty much it. That's how we're going to have that one prepped. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this four more times, and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I got all the fan blades together. Now, most of your instructions are going to tell you to do the step that I'm doing right now uh, after the fan is already up. And I like to do it down and because it's just, you'll understand here in a second, it's just a lot easier. Um, because sometimes these connectors that they have are kind of a pain to get together. And I'm sure I will have a problem with it. So I kind of wanted to show you that too. One more here. All right, so they've got these connectors and different fans are obviously gonna have different style connectors, um, but these connectors that these have are a super pain. So if you can see, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if it'll, you probably can't see. Okay, there we go. So that one is an open one. And this one, uh, come on, get in focus. <laughs> this one is closed. Um, and then they just snap into their respective ones. Now on this one, you might notice, there's a black and a white and a blue and a white. Well, obviously white goes with white and blue goes with black. That's just how they decided to color code this. And the white one, I think, is the easy one. No, nope, nope, this might be the hard one. So the problem is with these things is these little pins that are in there that they need to slide into that open end. And you've got all this extra space and if you have this already installed up on the ceiling, there we go, and you're trying to do it, and you, you've got the weight from this in your hand, it just, it makes it kind of a pain. So what I'm gonna do here is get these together, and then, oh, that one went right together. And sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. So then basically once you get all these, you just jam the cords in there, because, oh, and, uh. There is only one way this can go on. So if you look, there is a box right here and there is a notch. So it will not go on any other way than that way. You can try and spin it. I promise you it will not go on. So once I get that piece together, I'm only gonna put one screw in because we're gonna have to take this back out once we get it inside. Whoop. and want to hold it on for now. So now I'm going to pick everything up, take it all inside. I'll show you uh, what we're working with. All right, so here is the fan that we're going to be replacing. And as you can see, I'm pretty sure it was made uh, sometime in the 1930s, maybe 1940s. <laughs> I'm not positive. I have no idea. Um, First thing we gotta do with these is take all these off. So you unscrew each one of them just a little bit, pull the bulbs out, really nothing to it, toss them away. Whoop. Lose some screws here and there. They're unimportant because, I mean, we're getting rid of the fan. But, I mean, if you're going to give it away or something, try not to lose stuff. And I'm going to keep everything together. I'm just trying to move a little faster to make the video go a little faster for you. So you're not standing here watching me do nothing. <laughs> All right. So, 
So that is pretty much that. Ooh, last one. There we go. Next, you got to take the actual fan blades themselves off. So let me pan up a little bit. And sometimes you can get in here with a, a drill. Sometimes you can't. This is a little tight. Like I don't want to start spinning this and dragging it across here. So if you can get an, if you have an extension or you want to buy one, they're not extremely expensive, and they'll make your life a little bit easier, and they'll make it go a little bit faster. Pop that one. Bing. I. I'm going to go ahead and take all these off because I'm just jangling them around and I'm going to get, I'm a, I don't want to break them. So we actually are going to reuse these, uh, these strings. <laughs> so they bought these special cute little, uh, oh, one's a little fan and one's a little light. <laughs> but hey, they work. They're cute. You know, whatever floats your boat. I don't judge. All right. That one, pop that one. This is really a quick and easy project. It, like I said, it is medium as far as skill level. And I only say that because you're dealing with electrical. And when you're dealing with electrical, it's better that you at least halfway know what you're doing um, because you don't want to get zapped. Now, a lot of electricians and stuff like that, people will tell you, well, you, you got to turn the power off. Well, yeah, that's the smart way to do it. Um, and I would suggest anybody that doesn't understand how electricity works, most definitely do that. Um, I've, uh, I've been working around electricity for quite a few years. I understand what to do and what not to do. Uh, I haven't had any accidents, but, you know... Today could be the day, but once you start getting to, uh, let me uh, give you a little better view here. Once you start getting that stuff, really the only thing you really need to do is have some gloves on. If you're not, you can't really get zapped if you are insulated from the electricity, but make sure that you have gloves that will insulate you from the electricity. Because <laughs> just wearing any kind of gloves is not going to help you. I promise you. Um, your regular cloth gloves and stuff like that. Yeah, no, you're going to have a bad day. I promise you that real quick. Oh, okay. Next thing, once we got that off, um, I'm taking the shroud off, um, but I actually also need to take this off. So this is the part that I installed on the other fan uh, ahead of time. And so like this one, we actually need to take it off because the shroud won't come all the way off with this piece on. It will not fit around it, no matter how you try it, but you can unscrew it. And once it's dangling, you can get the shroud off. So pretty much just like that. And uh, if you want to be, I guess the smart thing for me to do would be to, now this is the power wire. So there is electricity flowing to it. Well, actually, I don't think there is on this one because I have the electrical light turned off. So all I'm doing is disconnecting this piece and making sure I put the cap back on the wire. Same with the white one. And you could use electrical tape if you want. Um, these caps work good enough. Uh, you know, just make sure you turn them on tight. So when you pull on them, if you pull on them, they don't come off because how people get zapped is if you don't put these back on and you have a live wire and it touches anything that's not live, it's going to spark, you're going to get shocked, and you're going to have a bad day. So, next to the shroud. Uh, this should only be four screws. Toss them down.
And now we have everything exposed, which is exactly what we want. Now this one, uh, the only thing I did forget, some of these have are, are bolted on. Um, so you might need a wrench, which oh, I did bring, luckily. <laughs> and I will, let me just see if I can, I don't know if it'll let me zoom in or not. Let's see. Uh, no, it won't let me zoom in. Um, let me try. All right, so we get in real close here, and you can kind of see exactly what's going on. And that is not the right one. And that one is. That one's loose. One's loose. We got a couple more over here. Those are all loose. I'll just pop them out. Good. I'm going to screw this one mostly out, but leave it on just so when I take all of them out, it doesn't fall on my head because I'm holding a camera. <laughs> and I, ha I have an actual sheet underneath me, uh, under the bed, so or on, on this bed, so you hear me dropping screws and stuff, and they're not going anywhere. Like, <laughs> I'm not just tossing stuff around just to toss it around all right I'm gonna have to put this camera back where it needs to be so that I can use both my hands Ugh. There. <laughs> all right now that we got that this last one out And the whole thing will kind of drop down. Now, the wires that you need are all tucked inside. Um, and you'll see why uh, when I reinstall it. But obviously we need to get to the wires to take off this. So we're going to go ahead and pop this plates off. Now this plate, I probably should have kept the camera off for this, but I needed my hands. The plate is just a couple screws. Okay. So we get zoom in close on this. There is whoop, one screw here and one screw here. And once we take that off, this whole plate will come down. And once the whole plate is down, then we can get to the wires and, uh, start installing the new one. I mean, I'd say it's pretty quick and easy. And the reason I really don't mind uh, doing a lot of this and still having the power on is because, you know, when you open it up, you can see right here, whoever the electrician was and installed these, he put electrical tape around the, uh, the little connectors here uh, that are connecting the wires. So he wanted to make sure that they were solid and that uh, nobody was going to get zapped. So there's one out here that I can see. I can understand that more than likely he did that very well with the power and uh, and the other and the common wire. So I'm uh, I'm not scared at all to just go in here a raw dog. <laughs> all right, so. Now we come out, stretch everything out. First things first. Now you can see here, you got two black wire, or a black and a blue wire coming off of the fan. And I'll zoom in when I install this. And a black wire, which is, these are the, this is the only really important wire, is this black one. So you're going to want to do this one first. Because you have a ground and you have a common. And they're both basically grounds. So we'll get this one undone. And get this little cap unscrewed get these pulled off of there and just be careful don't let anything touch this black this wire now you can see I can touch it 
that is a hot wire. But I am insulated. My gloves keep me okay. But we still want to cover this because we're going to be moving some stuff around and banging some things. And you still don't want that to touch the metal or this wire. You, you know, be as safe as you can. It, if you know exactly where your breaker is, um, go turn it off. Just be safe. Uh, like I said, I'm, I understand uh, electricity a little bit better than some people. So I'm not against being safe. I just don't need to go through all that. Um, so that's my, uh, that's my answer. All right. So we almost got this one off. Um, some of these, you know, you're going to run into stuff where they're just really difficult. Ah, and they finally come off. <laughs> All right, there. Now, uh, that one don't matter. We're not going to use that no more. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get some of my um, parts and pieces kind of brought up here on the bed, uh, get resituated. Maybe I'm going to try and get a little bit better camera angle so you can see what I'm doing. And, uh, and then we'll keep going. All right, so I figured the easiest thing to do would be to just bring the camera with me up on the bed. Um, so it's probably going to be a little bit shaky. Now, here we have the mounting plate. And you can see here that I've got a screw hole here and a screw hole here. And basically on here, there's a big long slot. And just like it looks, the uh, you need to actually feed the wires through the center for now. Just like so. And you line up the screws, screw holes to the slots, and we screw it in. There's that one. Uh, all right. Oh, oh. Where's this one? Well. And you can install the screws beforehand if you want, obviously. Like, you can go like this and you can put this in here. It works both ways. Sometimes, you know, we're men, we just like doing things the difficult way for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> All right, so yeah, and then you can go like that. And then she kind of slides in like so. Once that's on, We'll tighten her down. I really apologize for the bounciness. Like I said, it's on a bed. Oop. We made it a little tight. All right. So there's that. Now, the actual unit itself. Now, they make these things super, super smart. Now, you see this hook here? This hook... If you'll notice, you have one random thing that doesn't, it's out of place. Well, that's this big square. Now, you hang the hook on the square, just like so. Now, that gives you a place to hang this while you attach the wires. So, it's genius. It makes everybody's lives easier. <laughs> and whoever originally thought of that, Thank you, um, because this would be a real pain uh, without that. Uh, and that is no joke. Right, I'm trying to find my screws. All right, well, I think I left the screws outside, maybe. So I'm going to pause, and I'll be right back. I decided to take you with me when I go find the screws. You know, it's not that perfect. So we're going to see where exactly I left them. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Um, not there. 
I know they're around here somewhere. All right, no. Hmm. No. I could have swore I put them in the box. You know, the funny thing is, we're going to go around, we're going to do all this, and they're probably in the box. <laughs> One more pass around. I don't see him on the way. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's check the box. Did I take him out of the box? So I dropped the phone, <laughs> but I did find them. And uh, yeah, so what I did was I took them out of the box and uh, set them on the bed. Now, the reason I needed the screws when we're doing the electrical is because I need these little electrical wire caps. Uh, it has wire caps that are on there, but it's always good to put new ones on there because plastic does degrade over time. It becomes brittle. So if you get new ones, put them on. Just save yourself the headache. Um, and you don't have problems that way. So I'm gonna get this camera reset up and uh, we'll continue. And hopefully I won't lose stuff in plain sight again. All right, now we're back to it. So here we're gonna do things backwards from the way that we uh, uninstall it. So here we're gonna to wanna to hook the grounds up first, the ground and the common, and then we'll do the power last. So the grounds most of the time are green so, and they all go to this bare wire. Hopefully you can see that well enough. But this bare wire has no uh, plastic coating on it. That is your ground. And sometimes these are a real pain. And uh, this is why I want to do the videos because, oh. You know, if you run into the same problems that I have, then at least you know it's not just you, you know. Everybody will run into the issue sometime here or there. And at least if I show you, you can be like, oh, you know what? It happens to everybody. Because these little wires are a pain. You know, they don't grip. You can twist them. Yeah, see, look. I was twisting that for a while, and this is still not... I got two in there, but I didn't get one. So, you know, we're gonna have to do it again. That's, take them back off, straighten them out. And the easiest way to kind of do it is kind of line them up and then kind of hold it back far enough. But you kind of want these little guys a little bit past the copper wire. And then, most of the time, not all the time, it will grab. All right, so we pull on it, pull on it, pull on it. When you can pull on everything and it doesn't come apart, you're good. Now, if you want, a lot of people, which is what you saw uh, the last electrician or person that installed these did, you can wrap this whole cap and then wrap up the wire uh, with electrical tape. Um, People do it. It's not a bad thing to do. It's not going to hurt anything. It's a little bit more safer for everybody if you do it that way. Um, but to be honest, if you uh, if you are scared of electricity, then you probably shouldn't be doing this in the first place. So if you think that it's this is why I said it's kind of medium skill level because you are working with live electricity like you do need ooh, at least half a brain oh and of course i put the wrong cap on there see who's here i'm talking about half a brain and i don't have one <laughs> all right so i got the new orange cap now on the white one 
let me make this there we go now i'm also you're wondering you know why is he doing all this and you know well i'm doing all this in real time because i want you to see kind of how long it actually takes you know people are going to give you their time frames and oh it should do uh, this fast that fast well yes and no i mean uh, whoop okay the fan is on Still on. Now it's off. See? The wire is live. <laughs> <clears throat> and again, as long as you don't touch that black wire to anything, literally anything, uh, you're not going to get zapped. That's literally the long and the short of it. So... Try not to get zapped. I really don't want anybody to die. Like, <laughs> All right, so once you got that, uh, you can see most of these little screws up here, we're gonna have to loosen. So this is gonna actually attach the fan. Oop, too far, that's good. Back it off, you don't have to back them all the way out. Oh, of course I just dropped that one. And I'll show you why here in a second. Now, three of these, if you look on here, you'll see three of these have this uh, hole with a slot. And one of them, uh, this one here, oh, of course I'm blocking the hole. This one here is just a regular hole. This one down here is also slotted, but you can't really see it very well. Um, so all of the ones that are slotted, you can just loosen up so that we can just hang the uh, the motor. Oh, a little tighter. There we go. But the one where the hole is, we actually need to take this one all the way out. Set that down. Now your wires, if your caps are on good. You can literally jam them back up through this hole. It's kind of, you know, and you can manhandle this stuff. You know, obviously you want to be careful because you are working, if you're working with live electricity, but you can manhandle it. I promise you these, everything is pretty durable. As long as you made sure these caps are on there good, you're good to go. Now. We got that, and we just turn it a little bit, and it's on. Now we can tighten these three. Grab the fourth, put it in the singular hole, and it's starting to look like a fan. All right, so as we were talking, as I was talking before, um, this is the next piece. Now we actually just need to get the shroud on, and obviously we can't get the shroud over this, so this is why I only put one screw in. So we're gonna pop this screw out, and then kind of work the shroud around it, which will be hopefully super easy. That drops. Now this kind of shroud, it comes with these uh, little nubs here. They're all pre-drilled and it is basically the same thing that we just dealt with. They, whoop, let me get that out of the shot. <laughs> the, these are slotted. So we're basically just going to put them in here, slide, turn it to the right and it'll be on. It's quite literally that easy. So again, Here's this, we can kind of feed it through here. We do have to do a little bit of finagling, but once we get it, it goes up, and ta-da. 
<laughs> All right. See, so easy. I, you know, everybody can do it. <laughs> All right. So now that we got that, now we're going to move back to this piece. We can get this piece on. So we got three screws that need to go in there. And I am to the point now where I'm going to keep one glove on and one glove off because I need all these tiny little screws. All right. Let me get this in a little way so you can kind of halfway see what I'm doing. And don't forget the little slot needs to go right where the box is. Get these wires kind of just jammed up in here. There isn't like a special rhyme or reason or way for them to go in. You just jam them in, make sure that they are not pinching or cutting on anything, and you're good. All right. Screw came off. <laughs> Which is going to happen to you too, I promise. All right, let me... Let's try that. Let me try doing it with my fingers. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, nope. I just need one. Stay. This one, when you're doing these, you know, push up on this a little bit. You can use a screwdriver, like I said. If you got power tools, you're comfortable with power tools, use power tools. Just uh, make sure you turn the power down so you don't strip the things. Okay, that's that. Next, we're on to the fan blades. These also go pretty quick and easy. We will, uh, basically, I'm just going to pop these on. I will, uh, I'll probably just, yeah, uh, well, maybe, maybe I'll have you watch all of it. It's, it's not really too, too long or too difficult, I should say. Uh, my lighting in here is not good. I suppose I can come around. To, maybe you can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, or I can just drop screws. <laughs> All right, let me try this again. See if I can get it in a, a way that you can. They only go on one way. Like it's really, really simple. Well, these I'm just putting in a little bit so that I can let it hang there, get the other one, and screw that one in. Once that one's tight, then I'll screw the other one tight. Done. On to the next one. the screws make this a little faster <laughs> i tell you what i'm gonna go ahead and pause i'm gonna get these on and then we'll go to the next step so you're not just watching me drop screws for 20 minutes all right so i got the fan blades off i dropped uh, maybe at least six more screws so i saved you about 10 minutes of time uh, by just skipping through there uh, as you can see the fan blades are on uh, next thing we got to do is the glass shrouds. Now, the easiest thing to do with these is unscrew everything right away. All the way on all of them. Just get them all the way out as far as they can go without obviously removing them completely. Do this to kind of all of them. And that'll just make your life a little bit easier. 
course, I didn't do it ahead of time, so making this video even longer, and I'm not trying to, trust me. <laughs> I never expect these videos to last so long, but you know what? I'm not doing any video editing. All I'm really doing is running you through the steps in the time, amount of time that it should usually take, uh, ish, so you can kind of gauge for yourself, you know, exactly how long it should take. And, you know, I mean, and if you need help with this kind of stuff, uh, feel free to message me, send me a comment. Um, <clears throat> uh, I also, you can, you can, I'll, I'll answer emails. Um, my, my email is fantasticulito at gmail.com and, uh, Spell it just like it sounds. <laughs> All right. So we got those loose. Here's the, the glass. You just take it, put it in there. What I normally like to do is I take these and I do well, one, two, one, two, one, two. And you'll kind of start to feel it tighten up once you get that point. Um, don't over tighten it because you will snap this. This, These are 99% of the time these are glass. So... Be careful. Do not snap them because I don't know what it's like to get replacements. I've never snapped one, so <laughs> maybe it's easy. I have no idea. All right, there we go. And we'll get the last one on over here on this side. Now we'll just pop some bulbs in. Whew. I guess there was power to that. <laughs> let, me, let me turn that off so I'm not blinding myself and you. Okay, once the bulbs are in. We just gotta put the strings on and uh, and then we're done. Don't forget we got this sweet little fan one. <laughs> we'll put that on the fan one. Alright. All these things are so uh, come on. <laughs> oh, I got it. I didn't even know I got it. Sometimes they're super easy. Sometimes they're a pain. And, uh, and of course, you know, don't forget, got to have the little light. <laughs> and there we go. Now... There's the light. Ooh. Yeah, tilt this down a little bit. And uh, if I installed everything right, that works too. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sweating a little bit. I mean, I'm in the high desert, California, so uh, yeah, fans are a must. I mean, AC is a must, but fans are very helpful as well um, basically I would say that is pretty much the project I mean it if it's something that you think you can tackle yourself uh, I would say do it it's you know it's not super difficult just be careful with electricity um, go to your breaker box and turn it off if you're not comfortable working with electricity or live electricity uh, if you have any questions comments um, feel free to talk down in the uh, comments below uh, I'll give you advice. I'll happily uh, talk you out, talk you through something uh, via email or video chat. Um, I just, I really just want to help people. Uh, you know, save themselves some money. You know, for things that are not super difficult to do. So um, my time is free. I'm offering my time free of charge. All you have to do is ask. And it's that simple. So. Uh, if you like this video, if I helped you out, if I helped you install a fan or something similar, 
Uh, you have any questions or problems you run into, talk to me. I'm here. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you made it through the whole thing and it wasn't extremely boring. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you soon. Before I forget, <laughs> I wanted to just show everybody. Um, look, I am still clean. My shorts are still white, except for, oh, but I actually did that before I started working. So that's not from uh, doing the actual job. I don't know what, I think I brushed up against a car. So, uh, but also, uh, this is actually where the, the fan that I just installed, this is the room that I'm staying in at my grandma's house. Very quaint, here's all my stuff. Basically um, crowding the, the entire room. <laughs> but it's wonderful. It's lots of pictures, lots of memories, you know, old school stuff. We got some No, it, it's 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 all old school stuff. But that's not bad. Old's good. So, uh also please like, subscribe, share the video. Like I said, I'm trying to go around. I want to do things for you know, not just family members, other people. I want to just drive across the states um, and just help people out. Uh, so the more you like, the more you share, the more you watch, uh, the more that will help me actually do that. So please like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and do all that jazz that all the other YouTubes say. <laughs> so uh, thanks again, and I will see you soon.